Welcome to Painting with Jacqueline. In this program, artist Jacqueline Schwartz will guide you in making a small picture or card using watercolor and collage techniques. I wonder if I can paint that scene. That view begs a painting. According to Jacqueline Schwartz, these are the thoughts that prompt her to put brush or chalk to paper and create a piece of art. After retiring from a career as a nurse, Jacqueline substituted her passion for nursing to a passion for painting. She practiced, read, and enrolled in classes. She started with watercolors, then oils, and finally came to pastels in 2018, which are her new favorite medium. Jacqueline has experimented with collage, printmaking, writing poetry, and bookmaking, too. She says the challenge of using a variety of techniques and materials keeps her young at heart. Sharing her art through exhibits and talking to other art lovers about her work is a special treat for Jacqueline. JCPL has hosted two exhibits of her work and dozens of enthusiastic supporters came out for the reception, confirming Jackie's hope that her art is a gift of pleasure and delight to others. Hello, my name is Jacqueline and I'm sharing with you today a demo of an art project we kind of match colors here a little bit. This is a flamingo made in um, a background page and then a, a page that uh, colored pink and then cut out the flamingo. So it's an easy project you could use in many different ways, different colors. We're gonna move inside to my studio kitchen and I'll share with you how to make this flamingo or whatever bird or animal or flower you'd like to use. Start sometime. Yeah. So art friends, we are going to have this fun project of making a flamingo. It could be an elephant or a flower or a ladybug or a horse or whatever you want it to be. But my three-year-old granddaughter loves flamingo. She wants a flamingo pet. So I was inspired to do this one. So the fun thing about this project is you don't have to draw or paint anything specific. We are going to make, we're gonna have two pieces of paper where we do a background and we do a piece of paper in these colors. Then we will cut out the flamingo and add it to the background. So you don't need too many colors. In fact, I would encourage you to look at the color wheel and use colors that are close to each other. You notice the flamingo, kind of these, a little bit into the orange, bright pink, a little bit of purple. And then the background is kind of this teal and blue. I added a little bit of gold to the bottom. You can do or not do. It comes, there's uh, different metallic colors that come in acrylics. Uh, and then I added a little bit of, just a splotch or two of white to just give the eyes a rest and make you think it's a cloud. So nothing has to be perfect. Uh, you wanna let the viewer's imagination fill in the blanks. So let's get started with a variety of colors and let's talk about the paper. This is 140 pound watercolor paper. It comes in different sizes. I cut this down to six inches square. I would encourage you to, if you want, think you want to frame your project, look to see what kind of frames you have around home or if you have a mat around home. I happen to have this five by uh, maybe it isn't. Let's see. It's four and a half by six and a half. So if you cut your paper five by seven, fill that all in, you'll have plenty in the back here to hold that in the mat and in the frame. So this is our goal today. And it's real easy because you put the paint right on the paper. I've put a six inch square Tape it down with masking tape. You need also um, clear wrap 
or not. You could do it without it. Uh, so this is for the flamingo. Got a big glob there. I'm just gonna randomly put down these colors. Let's have some purple. And I have some real light orange that I kind of like. Um, some, this dark purple and a light orange. That's a lot of paint. So let's see how it turns out. It's gonna turn out perfect. However it turns out, it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be what I'm gonna use for this flamingo. Well, she doesn't care what kind of dress she has on, just so it's colorful. <laughs> okay, just try to rip that off, put it right on top. You could just squiggle it around some if you want to, just like that. I'm gonna take this rolling pin Just go in different directions. I'd rather not have big uh, spaces of the same color, so I'm gonna rotate this a little bit. Be prepared to be a little messy. It ripes off, washes off. See there, you can't go wrong. You just do whatever you want to do. Uh, I did a project with granddaughters who are um, nine and 12. One made a starfish. Oh, look at that. One made a, um, a dolphin. I love that. I'm gonna make one more swipe. Okay. Let's let that be it. What do you think? I'm trying to get rid of that big purple in the middle though. Okay. All right. Every time you do it, it will be different. You can make them sisters, but not twin sisters. So that's for the flamingo. Let that dry. And my other piece of cardboard is, no, hmm. Is it the colored one? I took it off, didn't I? I took it off of what? So that's the flamingo. All right. So next is going to be the um, the background. Mm -hmm. No, that's for the other one. So let's tape this one. I just I have a lovely son made by grandson Bruce. This must be ten years old, but we can reckon he would bother his make his feelings hurt. <laughs> let's tape this down and we'll do the background. I like to use this off-white um, tape. It comes in blue also, but that, the, using the blue will fool your eye about the other colors you're putting down. So you want something to be rather neutral. Okay, so for the background, you can see I had probably this color, some dark blue. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Your paints don't have to be expensive at all. I think these are a dollar or two at the hobby stores. So 
just randomly, you can see how that first one turned out. This paint's about empty. May have to switch to a different color. Paint's gray, that won't work. Let's put some purple in with this one. Just a little bit. And this is the dark color. All of these colors go together because they're right next to each other on the color wheel. Uh, don't uh, guard against putting reds and greens together. It'll end up muddy, kind of like brownish. Uh, colors that are across the color wheel from each other will, if you mix them together, they turn out, we call them mud. That's a artist's don't want to be. <laughs> don't want to be mud. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, let's put some more of this light one on. You can choose your own colors. If you want different shades of purples. Different greens. Ah, isn't that pretty? Let's leave that alone now. Okay, our task at hand now is um, waiting for these to dry, but it's almost finished. I will share with you while we're waiting for that, my horse, of course. And I'm moving out of the picture here. Here are two others I've done a different day. I was thinking an elephant. I was thinking this was going to be my elephant on this as a background, but I'm, I'm changing my mind. I think I'm going to have a red elephant. Put him on this background. And... What else can I tell you? Well, where is he? Um, here. Okay. Here's another option. Before we got started here today, I made this as a background, thinking Central Kentucky bluegrass. Then I did a paper with browns, uh, a real light brown, a little bit of black, and I cut out a horse. And then when I put him on this paper, I thought he kind of needs to be longer. So you could just you could just piece it. I can piece it. See, I can go down there with it and put another piece here, and you have what's called a collage. When you start making piece, bits of pieces like that, you can even tear and put some more on. Here's another piece if you want texture and so forth. I used a pencil and rubbed away some of the paint for his eye here and this bridle ring and that should go up this way, this way, this way. You can see a little bit of marks there. Let's do it with some black. We can just use a black marker. Or a black pen. Let's see. 
Or for that ring, we could use this gold. Let's see how that works. I forgot to put this gold on the, um, so just a tiny bit. Just dab it on, put him a, a gold ring like that. And we can Okay. That's an option. If you like goats or dogs or whatever, there's all kinds of books, children's books and adult books that provide um, simple drawings that you can use. All right, so I forgot to put the gold in there, so let's just do it this way. I'm just gonna put some on. This flamingo needs a little bit of bling, you know, in her environment. Okay. And then we'll just dab that on. Down here at the bottom. And wherever it turns out, I'm gonna be happy. You have happy mistakes doing this. Yeah. So I, some is added and some is taken away. And right here is where the picture is. So I think we're finished with that. I'm still needing to let this dry. There we go. So here's my elephant. Out of that, um, sheet of red i like the red elephant but when i put him on my background he doesn't show very much so i'm going to try to fix this by putting in a lot of uh, white and maybe some um a little bit of this this real light one. Let's see how that turns out. These are kind of experiments, you can tell. And the flamingo was the first one I did. And he was a, or she, I'm counting her a girl. She's a happy accident. have this trouble All right so let's redo this background I don't have it taped down it's kind of pretty and the elephant can go right there what do you think? I think that's fun for a child's room. And um, you could make another, some other animal that you like. And um, I think it's fun. We'll put some more of that blue, that, uh, Pretty. There you go. Okay, we're gonna let that rest and dry and we're gonna finish the flamingo. It looks like it's raining. It's raining. 
<laughs> yes, the storm's coming. Pretty. I gotta stop a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Am I leaving anything out? You think somebody could follow along and do this? You could, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Sure. should show that how to pick, tear off the tape. Yeah. Oh, it's recording. Oh, okay. All right, good. Because as you can see, I just had a little tear. We can still use this, but if you'll pull this way, when you take off the tape, it's much less likely to tear. I've had them tear very, very seldom, but I was just kind of rushing there. So, Here's a drawing of my flamingo. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the, um, the tail is gonna be in, um, it's gonna have two parts. The flamingo I did earlier is two parts and I put some um, tape behind it to give it some depth. So I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to cut that out just holding it together. No. Yes. want this on here? <laughs> Where do you want your bird to look? What you, how about down there? I like it down there. So I'm going to put it down with those colors down there so you can kind of, um, there you go. okay, colors. And I'm going to use some of this up here for the tail. So, if we just, I'm just going to cut this out. You won't have any art project any simpler than this, <laughs> or elementary, and yet it turns out really attractive people think you worked really hard on it you could make this into a card 
uh, you could make it and frame it as a gift. I know mine's going to go to Charlie, who wants a pet flamingo. Okay, so there's part. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to worry about um, coloring in correctly for the flamingo. Now I'm going to make a separate piece for this. Be, look like that. And uh, let's let's make it the bright. Make it a little long so it'll tuck in. Let's see if this fits. Okay, there we go. You can hardly see the tape on this. It's covered up with Pull away. Pull away. This is one that we do care. We don't want to tear this because this is our background. See how that's coming off? Pull that away. This is just a scrap piece of paper I've dug underneath here. that's missing our legs see it's got to go this way here's its tail so um, I put a little um, glue down I think it should go about there and we will um, cut some legs. Let's make some purple legs. Happen to have this. Let me see what my. There's one, and the other one we want to be bent. Uh, let's see. Let me turn this around so I can. Um, I'm gonna have him, gonna have her standing on one leg. If I can do this correctly. Does that do it? I think I, there, there she is. What do you think? I like her. And um, we can put a, a dot right about here for I. You can glue that on, or you can put, um, I doubled up some tape like this, or some paper, and I put that behind her here, so she actually sat up off the, she has, she has a three-dimensional look. And that's my sweet, Fanny the Flamingo. Thank you. And I hope you make a flamingo or whatever animal you like. And perhaps I'll be back 
with another project for you. Happy art!